Welcome. Uh, our topic here is linear regression. And we are going to see how to determine the regression equation, how to find the regression equation. Okay. So let's take this question, for example, as you can see. So I hope you've read the question. So question one is saying that question A is saying that determine the regression equation. So to do this quickly, you can create a table, okay? When you create a new table, now in the new table, you repeat, you can repeat this or you ignore it, but you can still repeat them, okay? You repeat them and create some new three columns. Now this new three columns, the first one should be x squared, like advertisement is the independent variable, so it's the x. Sales is the dependent variable, which is the y. So you have x squared, y squared, and x, y. So quickly, you find your x squared, isn't it? To get a x squared, 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is what? 9, 4 squared is 16. Then you come to the second one. Y, y squared is what? 7 squared is 49. 1 squared is what? We have 3 here. 3 squared is 9. 8 squared is 64 and 10 squared is 100. You also find xy. xy means each x times each the various corresponding y. So 2 times 7 is 14. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Then 4 times 10 is 40. So quickly, uh, you can find the total as well. So what is the sum of x? Sigma x, okay? Sigma x gives you 10. You find the sum of y, sigma y gives you 28. You add all. Then you find sigma x squared, it also gives you 30. Sigma y squared, it gives you 222. Two, two. You add all together. Then sigma x y, you add all this, you also get 81. You can use Excel like that's when you are doing it yourself. You can use your Excel as well in case you don't have a calculator with you. In in this cell, you just input equal to sign. Then you bring sum, S-U-M, open a bracket. So if this is cell A, let's say cell B2, you say cell B2 to cell B3, uh, 4, 5. So cell B5, it will add it for you. So you can copy for the rest and you get the answers. Okay, so let's go to the main thing. Now, question A is saying that you should determine the regression equation. So the regression equation says that you know, of y is equal to a plus uh, bx. Okay, now to find a b, a b, the coefficient b, to find that the formula is n into bracket sigma xy. We have another formula for this. But in another video, we'll see that, okay? But for now, let's use this. So n multiplying sigma x, y minus sigma x times sigma y, all divided by n multiplying sigma x squared minus sigma x all squared. Uh, this almost look like the formula for the coefficient of correlation, okay? But it's not same, okay? Please take note. It's not same. It almost look like, but it's not really same. Now, to get the value of R, to get the value of this B, the coefficient B, all are our N. Our N is 4, okay? Then, sigma XY is 81. Minus, sigma X is, sigma X times sigma Y. Sigma X is what? 10. And sigma Y is 28. All divided by 4 multiplying as sigma x squared was 30 minus sigma x which is 10 all squared. So when you find this, 4 times 8, 81 is 3, 2, 4, isn't it? Minus 10 times this is 280 divided by 4 times 30 is what? 120 minus 10 square is 100 so this gives you 
324 minus 280 is 44, isn't it? Divided by 120 minus 100 is what? 20. So 44 divided by 20 is what? 2.2, isn't it? So that's what you go for the value of B. Then to find A, the autonomous. To find A, the formula for A is sigma y divided by n minus b multiplying sigma x divided by n. So this gives us, what's our sigma y? Our sigma y was 28 divided by n which is 4 minus our b was 2.2 multiplying sigma x was 10 divided by what n which is 4 so when you input this on your calculator 27 divided by 28 divided by 4 is 7 and 22 2.2 .2 times 10 over 4 gives you 5.5 so 7 minus 5.5 is what you have 7 minus 5.5 it gives you 1.5 that is the value of a Okay, it gives you 1.5. So, to get the regression equation, y bar, your a was 1.5, isn't it? You substitute it into the formula, plus our b was 2.2. Then you bring the x. So, that's the regression equation. Okay, then, question b says that, Interpret the values of A and B. So let's see how to interpret it. It says we should interpret the values of what? A and B. Okay. So to interpret the values of A and B, So we are solving question B, which says we should interpret the value of A and B. So A equals 1.5 means that when there is uh, when there is no sales or when nothing when nothing when you spent nothing when nothing is spent. on advertisement when nothing is spent on advertisement that is when x is equal to zero okay okay the business the business could the business could still get a sales revenue A sales revenue of 1.5 million dollars okay when there is no advert they can still make a sales revenue. that's autonomous the the part of your sales revenue that does not depend on the advertisement okay so that's the meaning of the a it doesn't depend on advertisement it's autonomous then to interpret the b b is equal to 2.2 means that Uh, for each, you see that is a gradient, okay. For each additional, for each additional uh, amount spent on advert, on advertisement, okay, they can still, they can still expect what, they can expect. They can still expect to increase the sales revenue the sales revenue by approximately by approximately uh by approximately 2.2 .2. okay that's the meaning of the b you can still expect to increase the sales revenue by approximately what 2.2 .2. Now let's go to question C. Question C says that 
Estimate sales when three million dollars is spent on advertisement. We should estimate sales when three million dollars is spent on advertisement. So let's see that. Question C. Advertisement was X, isn't it? And if and the regression equation says that y by is equal to a plus b. We got we've already gotten the equation 1.5 plus 2.2x, isn't it? So when x, which is advertising expenses, when is equal to three, that's three million dollars. You substitute the 3 in the equation, you get 1.5 plus 2.2 times 3 is what? It's 6.6. .6. When you add it together, you get 8.1. So you add the sign dollars, million dollars. Okay. So therefore, when sales, uh, when advertising, when 3 million dollars is spent on advertising, you can estimate. A sales uh, you can estimate a sales revenue of like uh, 8.1 million dollars so that is the end of this as well thank you